Hi, I'm Asmita Banerjee. We are back on this channel to talk about improving the quality of work in our cell culture labs. Today, we will talk about passaging cells. Passaging cells is an exciting point in time for us because unless you reseed your cells for subculturing or freeze them, this is the time point where your cells enter an experiment. So, this is an important milestone in the life of your culture. And the time point you choose to pass it yourselves can make your experiment succeed or fail. Do not ignore your cell confluency. Growth characteristics depend heavily on cell confluency and the success of your experiment. And even more importantly, the reproducibility of your experiment totally depends on the state the cells were in when you harvested them. So, for consistent results, stick to a passaging routine. If you passage them once when they have hardly settled down, and then next time you passage them when the culture is completely overgrown, then, believe me, you will see this kind of inconsistency in the results of your experiments. Keep in mind that after thawing, your cells should be given a little time to recover from the thawing process. Do not plan your experiment right after thawing your cells. There are exceptions, but ideally they should be kept in the incubator for a week before they are passaged and seeded for an experiment. If you have a good protocol, then do not randomly change any of the conditions your cells are exposed to, unless you really have a good reason. So, if you change things such as trips in concentration, seeding cell concentrations, or the time you incubate your cells with trypsin or any other agents. In the middle of your experiment, your experiment may not be reproducible. But there is a simple solution to this, and it works most of the time. Take a little bit of time and do some preliminary experiments. Preliminary experiments are often not given the importance they deserve. In preliminary experiments, you can test conditions find out optimal doses and concentrations, here you can and should play around. The more time you invest in preliminary experiments, the more smoothly and hassle-free your main experiments are going to be. Now, we have been asked this many times. Can you include data of preliminary experiments into your main study? Yes, you can, but you should be very careful about this. If all conditions were exactly the same. Yes, you can then add these data. But if anything is different from the main experiment, no, then you cannot include the data. Sorry. And last but not least, note down all conditions of your cell passaging. You may need to state them later in a publication. So keep these things in mind when you passage your cells. And remember, we all want to improve the quality of work in our cell culture labs and I will see you in our next video.